Hey Lifesavers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nurse Kelly Tyrell, and in today's video, we are going to talk all about the Pearson View trick and other ways you can find out if you passed your NCLEX before receiving your official results letter. How do you do it? Is it accurate? How soon can you do it? We are going to cover it all. But before we jump into the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video with a friend, and make sure you click that bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on my upcoming content. So you've sat for your NCLEX, the most important and nerve wracking exam that you will probably ever have to take in your life. All of that hard work you put in over the last few years in nursing school comes down to this one test. Now all you can do is sit and wait six weeks for your official results before you find out if you passed or failed. Wrong. <laughs> There's actually three different ways to find out if you passed before you receive your official results. And one of those ways can tell you as soon as two hours from completing the NCLEX. The three ways to obtain early results are performing the Pearson View trick or PVT for short, obtaining quick results from Pearson View, and also checking your Department of State's license verification system. If you don't know how to do the PVT, register for your unofficial results, or check the license verification system, then I highly suggest you keep watching. All right, let's jump right in. So the Pearson View trick, or PVT for short, has been around for years, helping many figure out if they pass their NCLEX before their official results. Basically, you are able to trick Pearson View's validation system by attempting to re-register for another NCLEX exam before your results have been posted to their internal servers. So is this trick really accurate? Well, just like anything in life, nothing is 100% guaranteed. So I wouldn't bet your entire life savings on the accuracy of this trick. However, that being said, I can tell you from personal experience and being a nurse educator and mentor over the last decade that I have only ever heard of one student who had the quote unquote good pop up and fail and one student that got the bad pop up and passed. So full disclosure, I would say that this trick is 99.8% accurate accurate if you follow the steps I'm about to share with you. So step one, after you've completed the NCLEX exam, sit and patiently wait at least two hours before attempting this trick. You should receive a confirmation email within that time from Pearson View, basically confirming that you've completed your exam. So you'll want to make sure you've received this email and also wait the full two hours to increase the accuracy of this trick. The one student that I know of who received that good pop-up and actually failed, checked her results after only 30 minutes of completing the exam, which I'm suspecting contributed to her false positive results. So it's best to wait for two hours if you can. Step number two, so after you've received your confirmation email and you've waited a full two hours, now you're ready to go through the re-registration process with Pearson View. So to do this, you'll want to log back into your Pearson View account and click register for your NCLEX exam. You'll then enter your school's code the same as before and answer the prompted questions including have you ever taken an NCLEX exam before and have you uh, taken an NCLEX exam to qualify for the same license. So both of those answers to those questions are going to be yes. And then you're gonna be prompted to answer a third question which will ask, have you ever taken an NCLEX license exam to qualify for a different license? Now this question will likely be no, unless you are an LPN who is now sitting for her NCLEX RN. In that case, then you will answer yes to that question. So step number three, now you'll be asked to enter your payment information. This step is really important, so make sure you're paying attention. Because if you do not want to risk being charged the exam fee, you must change your expiration date or that CBV security code that's found on the back of your card. If you failed or if you get a false negative for whatever reason and actually pass, if you do not change one of those two things, then your card will actually be charged the full amount for the registration fee. So if you don't want to risk being charged, Charge, then I would highly suggest you either change the expiration date or that CVV code on the back of your card. Step number four, so this is the moment of truth. You're going to verify your information and click that submit button and wait for the long awaited pop up. So one of four things are gonna happen after you click that submit button. 
So if you entered your correct credit card information and you failed, you're going to see a receipt of successful purchase followed by an invoice for your order sent via email. The second option that could happen is you're going to get that good pop-up, which you'll see uh, outlined in a red box with a red triangle and a white exclamation sign in the middle that states our records indicate you have recently scheduled this exam. Another registration cannot be made at this time. So if you see this, you can cautiously start celebrating because the chances are you probably passed your NCLEX and you are officially a nurse. The third option that you might see is the try again later pop-ups, which means that you'll see the candidate currently has an open registration for this exam. A new registration cannot be created at this time, or it may say the candidate currently has test results that are on hold. A new registration cannot be created at this time. If you get one of these two pop-ups, don't panic. There's still hope, so don't count yourself out just yet. It's likely that there's just a delay in getting your results posted posted to the Pearson View servers, or there could be uh, an identification issue. So I suggest if you get these pop-ups, try the trick again in four hour increments. And the last option is that you get the bad pop-up which states the payment was declined, the reason invalid security code, contact your credit card company or use a different card. If you get this pop-up, know that you are not alone. Over 70,000 nurses fail their NCLEX each year. So while you may feel like in the moment you're the only one, I assure you that you are not. Like I mentioned before, this trick is not 100% accurate, so it's best to confirm if you failed through obtaining your quick results, which I'm gonna talk about in just a second, or waiting for your official results via your email. So doing the Pearson View trick is by far the fastest way you can find out if you pass or failed. However, like I stated, it may not be 100% accurate. So once you do the trick and get either the good pop-up or the bad pop-up, don't try the trick again because you can actually get the bad pop-up after you've received the good pop-up even though you passed. So once you get either the good or the bad pop-up, don't be tempted to try the trick again later in the day or the next day because chances are you're going to get a false result. Result. So what if you're looking for a more concrete, accurate way to find out if you pass or failed? Well, in that case, I suggest to wait for the 48 hour result through Pearson View or check your license status through your Department of State's license verification system. So both of these options are going to provide you with 100% accuracy of pass or fail. So how do you sign up for the quick results? Well, the process is actually rather easy and all you have to do is go to the Pearson View website and log into your account. Candidates will need to sign in with their username and password that they originally used to register for the NCLEX. And then you're gonna find under my, the My Account section, you're gonna select the Quick Results tab. And if your results are available, then you may click on that Purchase button. And the fee for the service is only $7.95. So you're gonna fill in the payment information and then click Next. Confirm your order by clicking the Submit Order button. And voila, the results will appear on the receipt page. So in order to receive your results, you must provide a credit card number, which the $7.95 charge can be billed. So your credit card will only be charged if the results are actually available. And these results typically are available within 48 hours at the minimum, but I know that they can take up to four days to generate. So if they're not available in 48 hours, don't panic, that's normal. Sometimes it can take a little longer. The other free option to see if you passed your NCLEX is going through your Department of State's license verification system. This is a really simple thing to do and can typically be found by just doing a simple Google search. So for example, if you tested in Pennsylvania, just Google search Pennsylvania nursing license verification and typically your Department of State's website will pop up on that first page. So you'll see a link that says something like verify a professional license. Click on that link to access the verification system. And every state system will be just a little bit different, but for Pennsylvania, when you click on that link on the left-hand side menu, you'll see a verify a license option. And then you'll want to select a person search. Once you do that, under the board slash commission, you're going to select the State Board of Nursing. And then the license type will either be registered nurse or practical nurse, depending on if you took the NCLEX RM or the NCLEX PM. 
Then you're gonna to wanna to fill out your name and address and click that search button. If your license has become active, then you would see it listed below as active. And you can also check to see if your graduate nurse permit license is active or null and void. So to do this, select graduate registered nursing permit or graduate practical nurse permit under that license type tab. And if you have a null and void nurse permit in an active nurse license, then you did it, you passed. <laughs> as far as when your license becomes active through the verification system, it varies state by state, but you can expect to show an active license within a week or so of taking your NCLEX. And this is actually exactly how I found out that I passed my NCLEX because 12 years ago, we didn't have the option of doing the Pearson View trick, or if we did, I wasn't aware of it being an option. So I'm so glad that we now have platforms like YouTube where I can educate you guys on things like the Pearson View trick. And that concludes the end of this lesson. I hope that you found this information extremely valuable and it made you just a little more confident as you prepare to take your NCLEX or your next nursing school exam. I just wanna thank you all again so much Lifesavers for tuning in today. My name is Nurse Kelly Tyrell and I help nurses feel more confident, increase their test scores and retain what they don't remember in nursing school. Speaking of, are you a nursing student or soon to be or ready to take your NCLEX? If so, have you joined my online student community yet? If not, then what are you waiting for? The university community is a complete nursing resource hub all at your fingertips. Inside, you can expect to receive coaching, community, and content. You'll get daily coaching with your mobile mentor, me, Nurse Kelly Tyrell. You'll also receive access to weekly educational videos that you can watch monthly before they even publish to YouTube. You'll also get exclusive printable digital downloads like worksheets, quizzes, flashcards, infographics, cheat sheets, skills checklists, and more. And if this video helped you in any way, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on my upcoming content. Also, if you can do me a favor and drop me a comment below, let me know where you're at with your nursing journey. I'd love to just say hi and connect with you. Also, make sure you click that share icon to spread the word and encourage a fellow aspiring nurse. And last but not least, when you are ready to take your NCLEX, be sure to check out my NCLEX and Chill review, where I review detailed test taking strategies and cover every major topic that you can expect to find on the NCLEX. If you want to have that unfair advantage and pass your NCLEX on your very next attempt, be sure to click the link in the description box below. Not ready to end the study sesh yet? Well, you are in luck because if you stick around, you can watch more of my videos coming at you in three, two, one. Bye, Lifesavers.